tutorial. I have a new setup and I film on my phone because my TomTom -tom isn't working now. <laughs> it's gone from deleting stuff to not working, so I've given up and I'm trying to film on my phone. I've also got a ring light. Yay! Finally. The lighting's so much better. Everything looks I think everything looks so much better with a ring light, so I got it for my Christmas. So first I'm going to do some skincare because I never did my skincare last night from my bed. It's so bad. Garni Skin Active Purifying Botanical Toner. It's like a new sort of favourite of mine. So this is the first video I am recording in 2018. So I hope everybody had a good new year and Christmas. So I had such a good new year and Christmas. Next, I'm going to use the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisturising Cream 48 Hour Hydration for all skin time. For my Christmas, I actually got the Body Shop Advent Calendar, like because I'd asked for Body Shop stuff, and everything that I'd asked for was in the Advent Calendar's corner. I got me the Advent Calendar, so I have loads of Body Shop stuff, which I absolutely love. And then next I'm using the Drops of Youth Concentrate. This is also from Body Shop, it's just a little sample. This one's like almost out. I don't know if I'm going to purchase like a uh, full size of this. I might. I'm trying to tell you how far I get through. If I, if I finish both of them I, I might. I do like putting this on before my makeup. And I like using this in the mornings because it makes my face really hydrated the whole day. This is the Vasali Rose Gold Elixir. I won this in Sophie Tom, Coco Chic on YouTube. I won her Instagram giveaway. Because I was just pumped that I'd won it. And I love her as a I, uh, YouTuber. She's one of my, definitely one of my favourites just now. I've read that this is good for texture. Now I have, I don't know why, but I am really suffering with texture, especially on my forehead. I'm sure because of the skincare that I've got for my Christmas, I'm just using it all and it's just my face is like freaking out. But, honestly, I don't have a clue. Another thing is, if you do do a skincare routine, if you do use like oils, you always do them last. Because I've done all my skincare, I'm not gonna do much for my like prep for my skin. So I'm just gonna use this today, I think, for my priming, and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna actually um, conceal as well because I've got a lot of redness. That's the Avon Mark Magic Prep and Set Spray. It's amazing. Oh, I've just put this in all of my like. Oily areas. Just because I get quite oily in like my T zone and definitely on my cheeks. So who's been watching Big Brother? I have always loved Big Brother. My dream is to go on Big Brother. I'm just concealing with my BH Cosmetics Concealing Contour Light Palette. It's like got six colours in it. Because I have a lot of little red spots. Go over it and not completely blend out, but just dab off any of the excess just so when I put on my foundation, you can't really. Like see how much of the greenness. And I didn't do this side with the green because this side's my problem side. Oh, I need to go with my beauty blender. Oh, just go wet. I shall be there. I need to rewind. My concealer 
and light, and this is fine. Maybe we'll just put it on. My cot's giving me the absolute fear when I'm doing my makeup. But now that you put on some more concealer, just to like neutralize my eyelids and give me like a blank canvas to work on. Cause I don't want to see any of my veins. I'm gonna take my, this is like the number seven sponge. I'm really liking this sponge, it is so soft. My little technique sponge, I don't know what, this is not wet, and I prefer using this to like bake underneath my eyes, but this has got something really sharp in it. I don't know what it is, I really need a new one, but whenever I go to Boots, I can't find this sold singly anywhere. So anybody knows where I can find that, but like just one, let me know. And I don't want like the massive body size one because who needs that big of a sponge? I don't get it. So I'm just gonna blend all this out with my sponge. I love how this ring light is making everything look so much better. I'm so glad I bought this and not like a new camera because I can totally deal with like filming on my phone and my Tom Tom for just now. Because the Tom Tom's not the best. Is it? It's too late to return it. No, if I take my. The most stay matte powder and just like a random brush. This is just, I think it's from eBay or something. And just put this, like set the concealer so that it don't move. Because if it moves, it'll just ruin your eye makeup. I'm using the Juvia's Place, the Masquerade Mini. I like the lady. I would love to recreate that. It looks really hard to recreate. I want to use some of like the colours I wouldn't necessarily use, like some of these. These ones, these ones are the ones I wouldn't really use. I've used the majority of the bottom ones. The Casablanca, this, that is stunning. You want to chew my cables. My cats like to chew my cables for everything, I don't know why. Right, first I'm going to take the Body Shop and 31W, I don't know that's the name of it or anything. It's like a transition colour. It's got the lightest one in the palette. And I'm going to take the body shop brush. And I'm just going to put this, I'm going to like go like that and raise my eyebrows. And put it like in my crease. I'm like that just to like define my crease. And try and like put in this transition just so everything blends nicely. Okay, I'm gonna take my Soeva Smokies palette and take and take Sweet Smell and take the same brush and just put that kind of like just above that color. Still raising my eyebrows as well. Ashes Awake one, the dark brown. So I've got to take the first colour I used from the Jewish Place palette and like buff this like line out. I'm not kind of I make like a mess down here because I can clean that up. My Morphe PK36 UV Place palette and take this color and just put that on top of where I put that like line. But I'm liking Big Brother this year. I didn't know I was gonna like this whole power of the woman thing. Cause I didn't understand what they were going like try to do with it. But no, I do like it, and I love like the decor of the house and how they've done it this year as well. Like, that's not my favorite bit about Big Brother. I've seen how they've like decorated it. 
don't know why. Just always loves to have to do that. Yeah, my dream would be to go on Big Brother. The body shop brush. And just take this hand. And take the green shade. That one. Put it where I haven't got any shadow yet. So I'm going to make my eyes pop. Because I've got blue eyes so. My finger uh, with that green shade. Just to get a bit more. Oh look at that. Just get more colour feel. Ooh, I like this. I just need to put, I want to put like a darker colour at the ends. I'm going to take like this little brush. This is the Morphe M57 brush. Take it on like a little palette brush and just put it like in this like corner of it. And this is going to look really crazy for a second. And I'm going to take just this brush and just put it in a little bit and just blend it. Hello, Alex. What's wrong with you? again and just put more of the green on just a little bit I'm gonna take my Maybelline Superstay foundation sponge and just bounce this in making sure I go over like the green the bits are colour corrected like really good because you don't want them peeking through your foundation. the Morphe MB31 just to put on another little layer of it just because I'm not happy with the coverage of it I've kind of like because this one's like winged it I've kind of like thingied that off here so I will sort that I usually do put on like two layers of foundation just got like a really full coverage. Cream contour with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in Toast. Collection Last and Perfection Concealer in Fair One. I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes. Take my number seven sponge and blend all this out. Oh, 
my, what I had to wear my, I just remembered, I was getting to like a natural makeup look so I could wear this. This is my new Jeffree Star, this is like from his holiday collection, this is red rum. They smell amazing. Yeah, I was wondering about that, but that's definitely not going to go with this look. Oh, it's going to be very Christmassy if I do put on red lipstick, so we will not be using that colour. Rimmel Match, Perfe Match Perfect Powder and sat underneath my eyes. Now this is when I use my little technique sponge I like to get right in there and set it all. But first I need to like, I'll get my sponge ready with powder on it first. Everywhere I put that concealer, I'm gonna put this powder on it. Go back to my Rimmel uh, stay mat and take just a big puffy brushes of the Morphe PK14 and just set the rest of my face. Just before I contour and that with powder, just because. I don't I want to stick it to stick to my foundation because my foundation's still tacky. So I haven't set it yet. Right. Now I'm gonna fix I do my eyebrows and fix my uh, eyeshadow before I move on to like anything else. I'm gonna do quite a full but I do quite a full eyebrow look just because my makeup and foundation is so full I don't see the point of doing like a natural brow. First I'm gonna take my spoolie brush, brush like all my hairs through first and like brush them up take my brow satin this side first, this is like the the brow pencil and put this through like, like run a line underneath my brow So on this weekend I get my under boob tattoo finish. I'm so excited to get this finish. It was the worst pain I've ever been in, in my life. I was crying getting that tattoo done like it was just agony. And we'd, we'd numbed it as well and it didn't make any difference. I could still feel everything. And I haven't numbed any of my tattoos. But I had to numb that one because I knew it was going over my, like, my bone, like my ribs and my sternum, it would, it was going to hurt. The thing that was most annoying was I couldn't stop myself from shaking. Like I don't know why, I just couldn't. I kept shaking, I felt so sorry for um, Kev, he did, he's the one that tattooed me. And he's the person that's done all of Connors. I felt so sorry for him because I just I felt like I was being a nightmare. And I wasn't meaning to. Like, I wasn't meaning to be sh that shaky but... I literally couldn't control it. Like I literally couldn't stop myself from doing it. And it was annoying me. So it must have really been annoying Kev. But it's getting finished um, on Sunday. So I've done that. I'm going to take my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pomade in what's this, soft brown. And I don't take much of this because you don't need a lot. And I'm literally going to put this underneath again I do have my eyebrows microbladed but they need doing again. They need touched up. I just need to get like the this one I shaved off by accident, and this they're filled in now. But before this bit is really still really sparse, and I want the front a bit more like um, squared off and a bit more defined at the front. So it's only a lot of touching up collection work the color eyebrow kit and I'm gonna take the middle shade this one and 
take this just at the end just because the Anastasia stuff it is so like waxy and wet if it gets wet or if you smudge it off it will come straight off and it'll make a mess of your foundation and everything you've worked hard just to do so I like to set it with powder lighter shade in the palette and just give it a bit more colour at the front not too much and then back to my spoolie I have two brow gels I like to use I've got the brow precise fibre filler that's got fibres in it to so make sure I just look fuller and I've got the clear body shop brow and lash gel I got this in the body shop calendar um, so I think I might use this today just because I haven't used this in a while and it looks so good in the eyebrows so makes them look so natural and if you want like fluffy eyebrows this is the thing to use wipe away powder underneath here I've just used the G36 Morphe brush for that. Take the Real Techniques contour brush and just take like the banana shade in the NYX, what's this? The NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Just gonna like, go underneath here. Just because that'll really brighten up your eyes. Morphe PK4. And I'm gonna take this one and we're gonna put it. to get right into my hair just so it doesn't look so white and next to that this one I think this is toffee that one's called now we're not putting this everywhere it is mainly just going here just to make it look a bit darker and make my face look a bit more Contoured. This one, hollow. Taking a little, little bit of that because this is a really dark colour. I'm just putting it like underneath where I've done all the other. Like contouring and stuff, not a lot. And then whatever is left in my brush, I'll just chuck on the top. Take my blush. This is the Body Shop one. This was also in the advent. And it's the shade Coral, and it's O2. And I'm not taking much of it because it is. Really pigmented. Jeffree Star Platinum Ice uh, Pro Skin Frost Palette. Here. I'm going to take my fan brush. This is the Morphe MB40. My waterline but I'm not gonna show you guys this because I have to get really close to the mirror. Eyeliner in what is this? I think it's just black. It's from the body shop. This is also in the uh, advent calendar. This one. See how this one's like flicked out and this one's I've lost it because I've put on concealer. Just try and sort that with a really light hand.
Quark was a Viva. That one. It's like the black in this Zoeva palette. Over the green because I feel like I've lost like the intenseness of it. Take my Jeffy Star highlighter palette. Take Glacier, the one I use for my highlighter. set my face with the Avon spray again. My wonderful mascara. on big false lash and tight by Jeffree Star so just the minis and see how this goes. No. No, no. Need something darker. What about androgyny? Maybe not that dark. I've got to try Leo. Where's Monaghan? Monaghan in the middle. And that's the finished look. I wouldn't necessarily do, but I wanted to use something different, different colours, so I like my green and I actually I really like it. So I hope you guys um, please like, comment, subscribe. Anything you want to ask me, leave a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.